in there. That's right, boys and girls. Five nil winners at Hillsborough. Woo, we don't do five nils, boys and girls. We don't do five nils. What's the, what's the result? What a morale boosting victory for Rovers. Um, obviously, next week, uh, a week off for Rovers. Obviously, FA Cup, we're not involved with that, but it gives us a chance to kind of regroup, focus, maybe even bring a, fr a, a fresh pair of legs in or two. Um, but anyway, let's talk about the game. 5 0 against Sheffield Wednesday at Hillsborough. Luna, Luna's running now, lunatic. The heavens have opened. It's the apocalyptic snow, boys and girls. Let's talk about the goals. The first goal coming out courtesy of our course, German Bradley Daccarino, Lewis Holtby. That's right. He smashed on a, a bit of a scrappy goal to, to make it 1 0. The game did open up after that, after uh, Luongo, the Australian midfielder for Sheffield Wednesday. Um, Got himself sent off with a lunge against Lewis Travis. Sent off by his countryman as well, an Australian referee, to really open up the game, to make it uh, uh, kind of like pushing into the old spaces and all that kind of good stuff. The second goal was Lewis Travis. I don't care what you say. People will say big fat OG. Heck no, it was a Lewis Travis barnstormer. But just kind of rolled in off the back of the goalkeeper. But uh, so the dubious goal panel will probably strike that off his off his record. But to me, honest with you, Travis all the way. Number three was Lewis Holtby once again. That's right. It's like buses, boys and girls. You want goals? They come in abundance. Uh, that made it three nil. Another scrappy. It was like a very close range goal. They're, they're not. They're not. They weren't perlers. They were team goals. Rovers picking out the spaces. Obviously, huge amount of spaces uh, because Sheffield Wednesday down to down to ten men. And then half time, game over. We thought 3 0, and it was game over, but we still had, still had time to add two more goals to the mix. Uh, the next up, El Capitano, not Charlie Mulgrew, heck no, it was Darren Lennon. corner to make it four. And then the fifth, the cherry on top. I called it, boys, I called it from the get go. Sam Gallagher. Yes, made it 5 0, boys and girls. We don't do 5 nils. Um, but let's get a little bit realistic now, folks. 5-0, yeah, we'll, we'll look forward to, we'll, I'll, I'll watch this game, we'll re-watch it over and over and over, because it doesn't happen that, that much for Rovers, um, but they were down 10 men, they're, they're, it, would, it would have been just the same on the flip side if Rovers had lost a man as well, I'm sure we would have been ripped open left, right and centre, so we've got to give uh, Sheffield Wednesday you know, a bit of credit, they're, they're up there for a reason, they're competing, they're, they're going to be in the mix of the playoffs, they're just going to have to do it a little bit harder these days. But this is the championship, folks, it happens. Look at Leeds earlier today, losing to QPR. We just don't know what can happen. Um, and this was the result that I completely never expected. Obviously, we picked up a, a win against them at, uh, at uh, Ewa Park earlier in the campaign, courtesy of the old scrapbook and, and co. But today was a good team performance and a morale boosting victory as well. I think we're up to now maybe uh, two points, maybe two or four points away from the playoffs. We can maybe start to dream um, and hopefully the gaffer can now, with the next 10 days or so, uh, try and maybe complete some transfer deals to kind of give us another morale, morale boost in uh, 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 a bit of news. Because uh, we're obviously Dakless, we're Corey Evansless, um, obviously Charlie Mulgrew's back, but we don't know where he's going to stand in, 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 in the Rovers uh, first team squad. Ultimately though, big victory. Doesn't happen very often. Let's roll with it, folks. A little bit later on on the channel, I will be doing a detailed review of this game. We'll be taking a look at uh, the match ratings, hear what the gaff has to say, hear what you guys have to say on Twitter. So get, your, get your comments in nice and early um, so we can take a little look at them on the old Twitter sphere and all that kind of good stuff. What do you think? Are we back in the playoff mix? I don't know. It's just, it's madness. Anyway, we're going to get back inside because there's stepping snow in. It's going to be a, a apocalyptic a snow, Luna. A apocalyptic snow. That's right. Luna's going nuts, so yes, that's right, boys and girls. Anyway, until I see you all again, which will be very, very soon, I'm going to smash the thumbs up, you're going to smash the subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Does it record? Yeah, I hope so. Alright. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, Football related, we've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>